Hi, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. As part of this session, we are going to discuss about topic and agent action. The contents we are going to cover today is how to create an agent action using flow, how to create a topic with a use case. In the previous session, we had discussed about how to add standard topic and action in the agent builder. In this session, we are going to discuss about how to create custom agent action and custom topic and how to include the custom action under the topic in agent builder. How to create a custom agent action? We can create custom agent action by using flow or apex or prompt template. In this session, we will discuss about how to create custom agent action using flow. To create custom agent action using flow, first we have to create a flow and that flow must be an auto launch flow because agent action supports only auto launch flow. Next, we have to create an agent action by using flow as a reference action type. Once the action is created, we have to create a topic under the agent builder and add the agent action under this topic in agent builder. Here, I am taking a small use case to show you how to create an agent action and topic. And the use case is to display the case details for the case number provided by the user. Now we will see everything practically. Let's go to our arc. First, we have to create a flow. For that, in quick find, search for flows. Click on flows. Click on new flow. Select start from scratch. Click on next. Select auto launch flow and click on create. Next to get, to get the case details, use get records element and give the label get case details. Select the object case and give the conditions here uh, we are taking the case number as an input from the user to provide the case details so i am giving the field as case number equals create an input variable to store the case number i am giving the name as case number as a best practice, we have to give the description while creating variables. Stores case number. Select the data type, text and available for in. Click on done. Next. If the user is on the case detail page, then to fetch the case details, we'll use the record ID. You case ID equals create an input variable for record ID. Record ID. Description stores the record ID. of the case select the data type text available for input click on done here if the user is on the case detail page then record id will fetch the case details and if the user is on any other page then user has to provide the case number we'll use any one condition so we'll use r any condition is met how many records to store only the first record and how many how to store the record data select choose fields and assign variables and when the user provides the case number we have to display the case details for that we have to store the case details to, to store the case details create an output variable 
click on new resource select the resource type as variable give the api name i'm giving case record give the description stores case details select the data type is record select the object case available for output click on done now here we have to select what fields we want to display i want to display subject description and status so i am selecting subject description and status and select this checkbox when no records are returned set specified variable to null click on save give the flow label get case details by case number and give the description display case details for the given case number click on save click on activate next we have to create an agent action to create an agent action in quick find search for agent actions click on agent actions click on new agent action and here select the reference action type i am selecting flow and select our flow name get case details by case number click on next here we can see the description given in the flow agent action instruction display the case details for the given case number here if you don't want this loading text then we have to disable this checkbox the case number this is the input variable and we will collect this from the user so i am enabling this checkbox next one is record id this is also an input variable here uh, we have case number and record id uh, these are not mandatory so i am not uh, selecting this checkbox is require enable and uh, the output variable is case record to show uh, to display the case details we have to enable show in conversation click on finish now the action is created next we will uh, create a topic under the agent builder to create a topic click on agents click on agent force default click on open in builder here uh, if we want to do any changes first we have to deactivate this this is the topic uh, we used in the previous session if we don't want this topic then we will uh, remove this topic i am not removing this topic and to create a new topic click on new and click on new topic and give the topic label i am giving case performance and give the classification description means we have to give the purpose of this topic 
provide provide the response for any query related to keys next we have to give the job of this agent your job is to provide the case details for the given case number next give the agent instructions fetch the case details for the given case number click on add instructions and if the user is on the case uh, detail page then uh, it will fetch the case details based on the record id for that we will add one instruction if the agent is on the case detail page automatically take the current case as an input now i'm not giving any sample inputs click on next and here we will add the action we have created our action name is get case details by case number click on finish we'll see the action we have added this is the topic and under this topic we will see the actions added under this topic now we will see the output provide case details for you the case number i'm giving Double zero one double zero two. Here we can see the case subject description and status, and in the planner we can see the input provided by the user. and we can see what topic is selected and we can see the instructions and actions under this topic and here we can see uh, what action is executed and here we can see the input given by us and we can see the output here now click on activate now we will see the output in agent force before that we have to activate okay it is activated click on this agent force 
refresh this page once. And here we have to ask the question, provide case details. Case, give the case number. We can see the subject, whatever is there in the record, description is not there and the status. And now we will go to record page, case detail page. And we will check. Before that we will clear the history, clear history. And here we will ask the question provide case details without giving case number yeah it is generating without case number uh, this is how we can create custom topics and actions In this session, we uh, discussed how to create an action using flow. In the next session, we will discuss about how to create an action using Apex and uh, Prompt template. This is the reference links. Please go through those links. Please subscribe to Salesforce Tech Book. Thank you.